Hello again. Chuck back here with you at the Gearhead Workshop. And uh, this is just going to be a short little video on, um, I'm joining in on the uh, big rig group build that uh, Tom and Jeff and Kenny are sponsoring. Um, uh, part of the rules were, um, you know, you could get in if uh, your truck wasn't anything more than half built. So you can obviously see here, uh, this thing's definitely far from half built. <laughs> But uh, what we got here, this is, a, I believe it's a Revell uh, Kenworth W900. And uh, I kind of started working on this thing a little while ago. And it's kind of been on the back burner since I, you know, did some of the body mods to it. So I was really thinking about maybe passing on the build. But it uh, seems like a lot of people are getting into it. And I just, you know, had the second thought. Well, well maybe if I get in the group build... Um, that'll get me off my can and I maybe finish this thing so uh, I'll just kind of maybe short go over what I what I've done with it so far um well the, I kind of don't have the suspension out here right now but I've kind of lowered that down a little bit uh, the front axle's been dropped and uh, cut down the airbags in the back to lower it down a little bit it's, it's not slammed but it's it's lowered in stock and uh, on the front clip here um maybe some shrouds to go in front of where my air cleaners come out and we've got rid of the uh the molded in headlights and uh skirted the back of the fender extended that down and basically you know molded everything in there and um i'm really thinking about um taking the grill and maybe molding that in there too and then and open the grill up and maybe screen it from the back or uh, black mesh or something like that and uh, you know maybe even paint the paint the shell of the grill to match the truck. So we'll uh, see what develops with that. And uh, over here we've got uh, I'm gonna go with quad battery boxes on this thing. Um, we'll probably have you know a pair up here in a stock location. And plan is to maybe to sneak a pair in back there behind the behind the sleeper cab. So I have something like that going on. And I'm pretty much uh, I was thinking about you know mono in this whole thing you know, like have a lot of it the same color or whatever but i think i'm gonna go ahead and maybe invest and get some more alclad and i'm gonna chrome these up and maybe these the air tanks and uh fuel tanks i've been working on the fuel tanks these are uh it's uh, actually parts from this kit and uh some parts from a from an old truck so i could extend the tank so we got it pretty much the the length of the uh sleeper cab there and they they still a little need a little more work, but I've I've got them pretty good now. You know I've done some puttying and sanding and priming on them. And they're starting pretty good. And the same thing with the battery boxes. We kind of clean those up and sanded on them. And and just uh, for you know I guess a slicker look, I I got rid of all the diamond plate detail on there, so they're gonna be kind of slick. Um, I might get some really fine sandpaper and lay in there for like non-slip. I ain't really sure yet what we're going to do there. Might just leave them all chrome. And uh, obviously with the cab and everything here, uh, extended a sleeper. Same thing. I used parts from my old W900 and uh, chopped half the or most of the other sleeper cab off and added it on to this one. And you know, kind of used putty and whatever I could get my hands on to extend this thing on back and uh, got rid of one set of the little access doors I just left these ones set in the side and had to rescribe those back in there good because they kind of went away when we were working on that and uh, I also done uh, I've taken out the uh, center bar and the windshield and uh, all the handles on this thing are shaved there's no door handles on it anywhere I'm going with the thought of we got, you know, keyless entry on everything, remote control, click a click and your, your doors and everything open up. And basically just trying to smooth the whole truck out, you know, like everywhere. And uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking about even maybe shaving down this raised detail around the door here and maybe get rid of that and just leave the panel line or whatever. And also, I'm not going to have anything up here. I'm going to try and keep this clean. I, I, I might not even have clearance lights, but the horns are definitely not going up there. I'm going to maybe hide those under the hood somewhere or down on the frame somewhere. I'm 
I'm just trying to keep it slick. And the other thing, that, you know, with the slick deal is I filled in the front windows for the sleeper and molded that all in slick. And uh, if it works out, um, I'm going to try and take the glass that was for this, since it's already the right profile, and put it up top here and mold that in as an air deflector. I may not mold it in, but I'm really thinking about molding it in, so it looks like it's one piece of the truck. But uh, I guess, uh, anyway, that's that's about it. I just wanted to kind of throw a quick little thing out about, you know, what I got going on with this rig that I'm, you know, going to try and be in the build now and hopefully finish this thing by the deadline. <laughs> uh, I got a lot going on right now, but like I said, I figured maybe getting in the build would get me enthused about this thing again so I can try and get it finished. So... I'm kind of thinking maybe since we got a lot of, you know, this body mod stuff is kind of out of the way. That's what I started on was a body mod and, you know, stretching the tanks and all. Um, probably go ahead and start working on the chassis and maybe see if I can get that together. And, you know, get some wheels under this thing and all that. And, uh, you know, then after that maybe start building on the motor and stuff. And uh, I ain't saying it's going to happen yet, but I got, I had sort of, couple of little crazy ideas for the motor so we'll see how that how that pans out if it if it pans out uh people that are in the trucks will notice that it's a little different <laughs> so uh i guess that's enough of my blabbing right now about this thing i just wanted to get a quick one out there because i told kenny i'd you know kind of pop some kind of video out just to let everybody know that i was in the build and you could see what i what i got going so far with this thing so i guess until i get something else going with this uh that's it and uh We'll see you later, so take care and peace.